Yo, what's up, guys? Ryan Luda here speaking on behalf of Pillman Jr. Welcome back. Guys, we are back with a brand new sample pack, and I'm not going to beat around a bush. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. This is by far one of the best sample packs, if not the best sample pack Pillman Jr. has put out. It's really special. But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, what's up? How you doing? If you enjoy music production, sample packs, tutorials, demos, that sort of thing, this is a spot for you. Go ahead, click that subscribe button and notification bell so that with every other new content, you'll be one of the first ones to know. If you're not, know you're back for a second, third, fourth time, whatever. Welcome back. We appreciate your support. And thank you once again for being here because this one is special. Guys, Pelman Jr. presents Is This Time Somewhere? First of all, that's the best name sample pack that Pelman Jr. has ever put out. One of the best named sample packs in general. But fam, this pack is based off of the one and only Drake. If you don't know who that is, I'm sorry for you. Uh, I have no clue what to say. Um, but of course you know who Drake is. Quite possibly the biggest artist in the world. We made a sample pack, you know, kind of, you know, looked at his style, you know, looked at some of the beats he chose. So, you know, we kind of, we, we, we studied a little bit, studied his style. We found something that's a happy medium between what he does and what Pelham Jr. does, fused them together, made something pretty special, guys. And we're going to talk a lot about it today. I want to really get in depth in this pack. I'm not going to do too much like you know production stuff, but just want to just really focus on this pack because it's super dope. I think you guys are really going to like it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So is this time somewhere, again, by Pelham Jr., uh, model after Drake? Uh, it is someone inspired by, uh, you know, those you know those freestyles you would do that was like uh this time in this place you know like 9 p.m in dallas i think is one of them 5 a.m in toronto is another one my favorite one of the ones he's, he's done so far uh 4 p.m in calabasas uh you know he had has all of those uh it's loosely based on that also took some of some popular songs uh you know, from his catalog uh you know studied those even studied the ones that maybe not been as popular and we made something pretty special with this guy so let's go ahead and get into it uh just doing a review of it uh this pack uh is 12 12 composition this pack um ittsw is this time somewhere the acronym uh again you're gonna get 12 compositions as you see with each folder excuse me you'll have uh each composition to have the, the tempo was played in and the pitch so it kind of gives you a great foundation on where to get started for your production um again when you buy this pack also you'll not only get uh, the composition, but you also get the individual stems, which are very, very key in this. I really want to focus on the stems in this review. I'm gonna really, you know, really focus on them, talk of, talking about them quite a bit. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Um, again, before I do though, stems for every single, every single composition. I'm gonna go through them. Let's let you know, hey, we're not cheating, y'all. You know, we making sure y'all getting the goods. So every single composition has stems. Oh man, that one ten had a, quite a few, so you know you're, you're you're definitely getting your money's worth for sure. So let's check it out. Uh, let's see. Let's start with um. Let's start number eight. Line number eight quite a bit. Let's start with that one. Check it out. I just mentioned 9 p.m. in Dallas, and of course, this is the one that uh you know that that's modeled from. Uh, so with this one, one thing I love about it is piano. Actually, let's let's actually talk about that for a second. Let's actually focus on that that piano. I think it's really dope. It's the area in here is which I love. <laughs> Do something with that. That little, dun -dun 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 -dun. I would definitely focus on that. Also, with the sample in general, what I would do, I would also focus on this here. Those three individual chops, you know, really, really work around those. Those are those can be beneficial for you. Again, you can loop these, but I'm, I'm a very heavy, uh, 
you know, I, I love to tell people to chop. Chop your samples. Do you think no always loop? Looping is cool. You know, looping does give you a, a nice clean flow, you know, for your instrumentals, but chopping, man, something about it, you know, brings out a little more creativity in you. Um, also for the artists as well, them listen to the beat and saying, hey, you know, there's something different, uh, you know, kind of going from there. So, yeah. So I love that one. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go to, I think it's number 10. Let's go to number 10. Check it. Check it. Check it out. See, just switch. I think about this one. I'm not gonna play that whole thing, but to me, and you correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but this sounds just like uh, fake, not the sound, just like, excuse me, don't wanna do that, but it's definitely inspired by fake love. I actually wanna focus on, uh, I think just like some like, there's like a, I think it's like that bass, let's see. Yeah, this is. This bass, guys, love it. Listen to it. Listen to it one more time. That joint is fire. I love that bass. So, that bass is really dope. I like it quite a bit, actually. Um, so, yeah. So love that bass. I think there's actually one more thing I want to focus on in here too. That's nice on the song too. That's not what I was gonna focus on, but that's really nice on the song. Uh, but yeah, so we have that. So you kind of have no. Again, you have the the time and place ones. You know, 9 p.m. in Dallas, that sort of thing. But you also have uh, you know some of his popular songs here too, like Fake Love. So so at least those are some of the inspirations at least for those. He those. These aren't those actual samples. So if you're looking for actual samples, no. But if you're looking for, to be inspired by those, this is for you. So as you listen, look at listen to uh one more. Um, I think it's this one. Oh yeah, fam. Yeah, let's really focus on this one. Check this out, guys. Listen, listen, listen to this. Listen to this. Are not about to sit here and act like this isn't this might be the dopest sample they've ever put check this out fam listen to this one more time that part where are those keys mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. fam it's those little accents that make this pack so fire. Don't just those little things alone make this pack ridiculous. Ridic. I'm done playing with y'all. Yo, and this here too. I just want this is just a production tip. Use someone use these vocals for me. Do it for me. Use these vocals, fam. Check the, check these out. Just just do it for me. <laughs> Fam, if you're like one of those producers that love like having like vocal chops in your stuff, you could chop that and do so much with it. It is insane, insane. God, I don't know. What, I don't know what to say. I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play one more just to play it, and then we're gonna get out of here. But I, you just, just this is the first one. I just wanted to just play this because that fifth was my favorite one, though. I'm chopping the heck out of that one. But I just want to play one more, man, just because I like this one so much. Uh, just listen, just listen to it. I'm not gonna lie, in my 
head, I was thinking about some salsa type stuff or like somebody with some shakies in the back, like chick, 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 chick. just something like that going just in the, and you know, just in the background of the beat. I don't know, but I say all that to say this: this pack is fire. Quite possibly the most fire pack that Pillman Jr. Uh, has put out. Um, all I gotta say is if you're interested, go to PillmanJr.com right now and grab this pack. Again, PillmanJr.com right now. Please grab this pack. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice because I'm excited, fam. It's this time somewhere, guys. Go grab this. And by the way, hopefully you're catching us at the right time because if you're seeing this video and it's around Black Friday, maybe close to it, maybe on Black Friday, you might be able to use a, a discount code that's possibly in the description, you know, to get this pack for 50% off. That's all I'm going to say. You might get this pack for 50% off. And you see how dope this pack is. This pack is for you. So, guys, it's this time somewhere, again, heavily inspired by Drake. You're going to want this in your arsenal. I mean, the dude covers all facets of hip-hop. So, you're going to want to get in on this and get this pack. So, yeah, guys, my name is Ryan Little. Speaking of Half Pillman Jr., just to walk, I just want to walk you guys to, you know, the samples, my thoughts on the samples, just some, just how meticulous these samples are. Just the little accents and what they do for it. How this this pack is just dope. It it's a flagship pack of Pelman Jr. I'm just saying it now. You're gonna want to go get it. So hey guys, Ryan Little speaking on behalf of Pelman Jr. It's this time somewhere. Go get it now. Until next time, I love y'all. Thank you so much for support. And uh, yeah, make some fire. We'll see y'all next time. Much love. <laughs>